Okay, uh, welcome uh, to our seminar. And uh, it's very great that um, we can join this uh, great event uh, run the world friendly in combinatorics. Thanks, Alex Scott, for organizing this event. Uh, our SCMS seminar has been done online uh, uh, seminar since March uh, 2020. Uh, we have been more than uh, organized more than 60 talks now, but today, I guess this is the largest talk we have been host. Um, uh, we are very glad to join this event. And today, our um, uh, local speaker will be Bao Gang Xu from Nanjing Normal University. Uh, Bao Gang is an uh, expert in vertex partition, coloring, and uh, so on in structural graph theory. Okay, let's welcome. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to thank the organizer, Professor Scott, uh, <clears throat> thank, and thank you uh, for, oh, uh, for inviting me uh, to present a talk uh, in this global activ activity. Oh, okay, I'll uh, first turn off my uh, video. Okay, uh, and thank uh, Professor Wood for his nice talk. My talk uh, is in the little field. Uh, uh, I'm very glad to share my research, uh, recent research with all friends over the world. Uh, my topic is on coloring of graphs of growth 2L plus one without longer or the whole. Uh, this is the joint work with uh, my student Di Wu and the Dr. Yi An Xu. Okay, okay, good topic. Go. Okay. Uh, my talk, uh, talk uh, has three parts. Uh, first, uh, contains some basic definitions and uh, background. And the uh, second part uh, uh, are all main results. And uh, the last uh, one uh, had uh, the sketch of some proofs. Okay. Uh, uh, let's begin with some definition. Uh, uh, graph G with vertex set VG and edge set EG. Uh, we use S to, to denote a set of subs, uh, uh, subset of vertices of G. Uh, GS, the subgraph induced by S. Uh, and the, uh, S is called clique if uh, S induces a complete uh, subgraph and is called a stable set if uh, S induces a subgraph without any edge. And the click number is the maximum size uh, uh, over all clicks uh, of the graph. And the stable, stable number is the maximum size over all stable sets. Uh, 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 a key coloring uh, is the assignment of colors uh, one, two, to K to the what size of G such that uh, at the distance what should receive uh, dis distinct colors. Uh, 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 in another word, uh, uh, that, that means C negative I is stable for each integral I. The chromatic number of G is defined to be the minimum case such that G uh, admits the K coloring. Uh, we know that uh, chi of G is uh, no less than omega of G, because in any colorings, uh, all what says a click must receive uh, different colors. And we know there are triangle free graphs that may have arbitrary large chromatic numbers. So uh, this means that uh, we cannot expect a function F such that chi of G is uh, upbounded by F of omega G for all graphs. In 1970s, uh, uh, has introduced the concept of chi-boundedness. Uh, we use, let G be a family of graphs. If there exists a function F such that uh, for each graph G in the family G, uh, the chromatic Chromatic number chi of G is upbounded by 
uh, f of omega g, uh, then we say g the set the family g is chi bounded, and and the call uh, f a binding function of g. Uh, there here is a way of uh, define the a graph family uh, with uh, forbidden uh, subgraphs. Let f be a set of graphs. Uh, we see that a graph G is F free if G induces uh, no member of F as its uh, subgraph. Uh, we are concerned with the family uh, by forbidding some induced cycles. Uh, so we have the, the definition of holes, uh, even all the holes. A hole is an induced cycle of length at least four, uh, and even on an odd hole. Uh, is a whole of even lengths or odd lengths. Uh, the k bounded problem uh, of some whole free graphs uh, are studied extensively. So we uh, are interested in this uh, question. Uh, uh, let's first state a uh, uh, theorem of address in 1950s. Uh, address in 1959, showed that uh, for any positive integral k and l, there exists a graph g with a uh, chromatic number at least k, and uh, g has no cycle of length uh, less than l. Uh, this means that uh, one cannot expect a, a k-bounded family by forbidding a finite set of cycles. Uh, in, in another word, uh, let i be a set of positive integrals, and we use c of i to uh, denote uh, the set of cycles, length i for each i in the set i, uh, to guarantee the k boundedness of the ci free graphs. i cannot be finite. OK, uh, 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 Professor Wood. Uh, had mentioned the uh, coder uh, graphs. The coder graphs are just those at uh, whole free. Uh, we know that the, uh, uh, each uh, each coder graph has per, uh, has its chromatic number equals uh, its uh, click number. Another family is the the famous perfect graph. Uh, a graph G is said to be perfect if. Uh, for each of induced subgraph H, uh, H has the same chromatic number as its uh, click number. And uh, in uh, 2006, uh, <coughs> uh, Klonowski et al. proved the uh, strong perfect graph theorem. Uh, this, uh, as we know, this is an old conjunctive theory. Uh, uh, it states that a graph is perfect if and uh, only if uh, it induces neither all the holes nor their complements. Uh, we uh, call, uh, usually we call uh, complement, complements of a hole as anti-hole. Uh, and so uh, the complements of, of all the holes are uh, uh, usually uh, referred to as an odd anti-hole. Uh, even whole free graphs are quite close to perfect graphs in some sense. Uh, perf perhaps uh, the reason is uh, that, that even whole free graphs uh, induce no odd any whole uh, except C5, the, uh, the, the whole on five what it says. In 2008, and the uh, Barry and Tudnowski, uh, Tudnowski, Harvard, Reed, and Seymour uh, proved the following result. Every even whole free graph G has a vertex whose neighbor set is the union of two clicks. Uh, we know that the whole, uh, whole free graph, uh, the, the, the coder graph, uh, always has a vertex whose uh, neighbor is a click. So in this sense, the uh, even whole free graph is uh, Close to perfect graphs. Uh, in uh, 2020, uh, Trudanowski and Seymour represent 
uh, present new proof for this uh, result. Uh, uh, from this theorem, we see that every even whole graph is two times uh, omega g minus one uh, degenerate. And uh, heuristically, we see that uh, every even whole free graph uh, has chromatic number less than two times its click number. Uh, there is a very uh, nice survey on even whole graphs uh, due to votes or Casey, and uh, uh, you can find many other results on this on even whole graphs on structural uh, properties and uh, some other uh, results. Okay, let's uh, talk about some uh, results on all the whole free graphs. All the whole free graphs uh, seem uh, quite different from perfect graphs. Uh, here is the three very uh, important results. Uh, conforming three conjunctures of EFS, uh, Scott and Seymour proved in 1916 uh, 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 that uh, the, for each odd whole free graph key, its chromatic number is upbounded by a function about two to the power of two to the power of omega g plus two. And this is a very uh, large uh, function. And uh, uh, a year later, uh, to the Novitsky, Scott, and the Seymour uh, proved uh, another conjunctor uh, of the, uh, it says that uh, holes of length at least L free graphs are k bounded. Uh, here, uh, some even hole are uh, 14 also. Uh, and then in 2020, uh, they strengthened their result and proved a new one to the, by, to the Novitsky, Scott, Seymour, and the Sparkle that uh, all the whole of length at least L free graphs are k bounded. Uh, 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 the, the binding function are very large. Uh, it's, uh, the last theorem uh, is uh, stronger than the first and the second in some sense that uh, that means uh, all the whole free graphs are k bounded and uh, all of length L at least L free graphs are k bounded from the third result. Uh, let's introduce a problem uh, similar to what uh, we are studying. Uh, we use edge uh, to be a set triangle free graphs that induce no holes of length uh, zero, multiple three. Uh, in another word, uh, edge it consists of uh, graphs without induce a cycle of length three K for any K. Uh, Bonami, uh, Tarbit and uh, Thomas uh, answered affirmatively a question for Kelly and uh, Meshulam and the proof that such graphs, uh, the graphs in uh, edge has a uh, bounded chromatic number that's that there exists a uh, constant C such that uh, all graphs in uh, the family edge is C colorable. A question uh, uh, is it true that all graphs uh, in the set edge is three colorable is still open? And uh, this question. Uh, uh, has been mentioned in the survey of uh, uh, Scott and uh, uh, Seymour uh, published uh, uh, last, uh, last year in uh, journal graph theory. Uh, on uh, k-boundedness of problems, uh, there are uh, two very compre comprehensive surveys. One is due to Scott and Seymour and the other uh, share mirror and uh, renderings. Uh, there are many uh, results and uh, still open problems. Uh, now let's uh, turn uh, to the problems uh, 
uh, what we are cons uh, we concerns. Uh, we define for uh, integers uh, L of at least two, we define the family G L uh, uh, to be the graphs of girls 2L plus one without all the holes of length at least 2L plus three. Uh, we uh, ignore the uh, part L equals one because uh, that is the uh, odd hole free, odd cycle free graph is bipartite. So we uh, start from L at least two. Rot Robson conjunctor that uh, only three connected, internally four connect, connected uh, uh, graph in G2 is the Peterson graph. Then in 2014, uh, Plummer and Jia presented some counter example to Robson conjunction and proposed the following uh, questions. Uh, the first question is how close are graphs of G2 to perfect graphs? And question two, uh, are graphs of G2 have bounded chromatic number? And uh, the question three is a strengthen of the question two that uh, uh, says, is it true that all graphs in G2 are three colorable? Uh, Answering the question two and uh, also question one in some sense, uh, together with uh, Yu and Jia, we proved that uh, the graphs in G2 are four colorable. Uh, we uh, prove a structural theorem uh, as below that, let G be a graph in G2 and let U be an upper vortex of G. Uh, then for every positive integral edge, the set of po uh, what sets of distance edge to you induces a bipartite subgraph. That means for each BFS tree T, each level induces a bipartite subgraph. So the whole what sets of graph G uh, can be pa partitioned into two parts. Each part induces a bipartite uh, subgraph. So uh, from this point, we see that the graph uh, in G2 is four colorable. <clears throat> uh, we can color uh, for, for any fixed vertex U, uh, we can color all what sets of distance, even distance uh, with color one and two and the color all what sets of uh, all the distance to U uh, with the color three and the four. Uh, next, uh, uh, our uh, main results. Uh, of, uh, we still need some um, notations. Uh, we use S to denote a subset of uh, what it says. Uh, for I, the integral I uh, right now equal to zero, uh, we define the distance between X and the S to be the minimum among all distances of uh, X and what sets of S and define the uh, level Li of S uh, consists of the what sets that uh, have distance uh, exactly I to S. Here is an example, uh, let's G be a five cycle U1, U2, U3, U4, U5 and let S be uh, consist, let S consist of uh, U1 and U2, then add zero S, just S. And L1 S uh, consists of two what is that, U2 and U, U3 and U5. And L2 S uh, consists of single, uh, consists of a single what has U4. And for all integrals I greater than equal three, L I S is uh, equal, is empty. And uh, from this, uh, this is uh, for you uh, for uh, a subset S. We can define uh, L zero S, L one S, L two S, uh, like a tree level. Uh, it's easy to see that if J uh, is uh, larger than I plus one, then no vertex of L J 
may be adjacent uh, to uh, any vertex of Li. Uh, this is very important. Now, our theorem one, uh, we extend uh, uh, and the uh, theorem of U uh, and, uh, and Jia to all graphs uh, families DL for L greater than or equal to two. Let L uh, be a positive integral of at least two and the G uh, graphed in the family GL and as a subset of VG uh, such that as induced as is uh, connected subgraph. If for each I uh, between I between one and L minus one, uh, the level Li, uh, uh, what sets of uh, distance I from S induce a bipartite sub subgraph for each I between one and L minus one. Then we can show that uh, for each positive integral I, uh, Li of S induce a uh, bipartite graph. But from this uh, theorem, we can uh, show that all graphs uh, in GL are full colorable. The same method, uh, the, color, the color method is the same. Uh, we fix any vertex U and uh, uh, L LIU is stable for uh, each I between uh, one and L minus one. And otherwise you can uh, find a short cycle in, the, in this graph. And, and, and so uh, for every I uh, between zero and L minus one, and LIU is uh, bipartite. LIU induces a bipartite subgraph is uh, has no NA, so it's bipartite. And from theorem one, we see that IIU uh, induce a bipartite, a bipartite subgram for all uh, I. So uh, we can uh, color all what sets of even distance uh, for, to you with color one and two, and the color all what sets of out distance uh, to you with color three and four. That's uh, so. Uh, implies that all the graph G is full colorable. Uh, here is our uh, second theorem. Uh, uh, answering uh, the third question uh, conditionally, we proved that uh, <clears throat> if a graph G in the family G2 uh, induces no two five cycles sharing edges, then it is three colorable. Here below is the configuration, two configurations that uh, two five cycles sharing edges in graphs of G2. Uh, we call defined it, them as theta minus uh, and theta uh, respectively. The, uh, Two five cycles sharing exactly two uh, H is the configuration theta minus, and uh, two five cycles sharing exactly one H uh, is the configuration theta. Uh, from this uh, theorem, two, uh, uh, we see that if we can uh, affirmatively answer the third question uh, of uh, Plum and Ja. Uh, in, in another word, to prove that every graph G in G2 is four, three colorable. Uh, it, uh, we need only to show that every non-minimal non three colorable uh, graph of G2 uh, induces neither theta minus nor theta. Uh, we made first uh, attempt, uh, first try to this along this direction. Uh, here is another configuration C plus. 
uh, the seed plus, uh, the configuration set plus is obtained from the PTS graph by removing two at the decimal value sets. And uh, uh, we prove that if uh, the family G2 uh, is are not four, three colorable, then it uh, must have some four chromatic graph. Let G be of uh, minimally uh, four chromatic uh, graph in G2. That is, uh, G is four chromatic, but ev every proper induced subgraph uh, of G is three colorable. We show that G uh, cannot induce C plus. Uh, here is the relation between theta, theta plus, and the theta minus. Uh, by removing an edge uh, joining two vertices of uh, degree three uh, from theta plus, we get the configuration theta. And uh, by removing a uh, uh, vertex of degree two, uh, such as uh, the vertex V5, uh, from theta plus, we get the uh, configuration theta minus. <clears throat> so, uh, below uh, are some of our uh, idea of proof uh, this result, these theorems. Uh, in our first theorem, we uh, show that for any subset S of what you said, if GS is connected and uh, each uh, for each I between one and L minus one, LIS induces a bipartite subgraph, then GLS is bipartite for each positive I. Uh, we only take S uh, consists of a single what you as an example to show the procedure. Uh, we uh, simply write uh, liu as li for i. It's equal to say that for i between zero and l minus one, li is stable. Uh, so we can choose a smallest edge such that g uh, l h plus one is not a bipartite. Suppose the uh, theorem is not true. Uh, and we uh, choose the an order whole of length two l plus one, say u zero u one to u two l uh, in the subgraph induced by the level of uh, uh, l h plus one. And here the configuration shows the uh, situation. Uh, we use h uh, q to denote the uh, integer uh, of, uh, floor of L over two. Uh, then we choose, uh, <clears throat> uh, we see that there uh, is pass from the level H minus Q to L uh, H plus one. Uh, so we can um, find uh, a pass from uh, the arrow the level h minus q to uh, ui for each i. We choose such uh, paths uh, denoted as p0, p1, p2 to p2l. We choose such paths such that the its end their end in the uh, level h minus q uh, is minimum. That is the, the path P0, P1, P2 to P2L uh, intersect uh, L H minus Q uh, as small as possible. We choose such a uh, path. Then <clears throat> we uh, discuss the uh, structure, the situation of the subset, subset V0, V1, V2 to V2L. If V0 uh, is the destined to VL, then, 
uh, we can find uh, all the whole of length uh, at least two L plus three. Either the blue one consists of the path P0 and the PL and the age uh, V0, VL, and uh, then a segment of C from U0 to UL uh, along U0, U1, U2 to UL. Uh, all the past, uh, all the uh, all the whole, all the whole uh, consists of P0, PL, and the eight V0, VL, and uh, the a segment of uh, C. Uh, it depends on the parity of L, uh, which one is an odd hole. So we can uh, suppose that uh, V0, VL is not an edge. Then uh, we discuss the two situations, V0 equals, VL equals V0, or V0 uh, does not equal to VL, which finally we can uh, show that uh, the path P0, P1 to P2 uh, has a common end in the level L, H minus Q. And then we can find an either an odd hole, uh, either, either a short cycle or a um, hole of length seven when L equals two. Uh, if L greater than two, we can find a short cycle uh, of length at, uh, at most two L uh, that are both competition. So this, uh, 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 our proof of theorem one. Our theorem uh, to prove our theorem two, we uh, first show some property of minimal non three colorable graphs in G2. Uh, we show that if G2 does contain uh, a minimal non three colorable graph, then for each vertex U, and it's three neighbor u1, u2, u3. We uh, can show that the first G is three connected, and every three cut set is uh, stable. Uh, and uh, for each vertex u and three neighbors u1, u2, u3 of you, uh, u and u1, u2, u3 cannot be a cut set. Then we uh, uh, here we only show the procedure to uh, prove its uh, three connectivity. Uh, suppose that X, Y is a two cut. We know that X cannot be adjacent to uh, uh, Y. And then uh, we know that we can suppose that in G2, every three coloring uh, color, uh, both X and Y with the same color. And in any three coloring of G2, uh, X and Y receive this distinct color. And uh, we can find an alternative, alternative path between X1 and with uh, a color and alternatively uh, one and two, and a path, alternating path uh, between X and Y in G1 uh, with colors alternatively one and three. Both these paths have even lengths. And because C is uh, C4 free, so uh, it, one of the paths has length four. And in G2, uh, there is an alternating path with colors altern alternatively one and two. This path must have uh, all the lengths. Since X1, XY is not an edge, so the path P, uh, P3 must have uh, all the lengths at least three. Uh, so we can see either P1 union P3 or P2 union P3 is an odd hole of lengths uh, at least seven. Uh, this show that C must be three connected. Uh, next, uh, we uh, prove the following structure lemma. Uh, then combining this lemma with lemma one, we can show the theorem two. In term, uh, this uh, lemma, we show that if uh, G2 uh, has a three connected graph uh, that has a five hole, if it does not have five, have five hole, then it is bipartite and then it is uh, two colorable. Uh, so 
If T induces neither theta nor theta minus, here the theta and the theta minus, then G has a cut set X, Y, and Z uh, such that X1 is at the descent. The proof, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the proof uh, uh, is uh, uh, as below. Uh, we choose uh, C, uh, a five hole C, and uh, uh, we define it's uh, the level L1C, L2C, and uh, from the uh, definition of G, we can see L1C is stable as otherwise uh, there would be uh, a triangle or uh, C4. Uh, and uh, the, the first, any two watch sets in the first level L1C, cannot have come neighbor in the second level L2C. The, this is because C cannot have uh, two five holes sharing uh, edges. Uh, I can check it easily. Then uh, we can uh, uh, show that if removing all what sets of C and there is a pass from uh, the second, uh, second neighborhood of UI to the second neighborhood of uh, UI plus three, there is an induced path, then this path cannot have, uh, okay, uh, what happened? Uh, this uh, path cannot have uh, contain neighbors UI plus one and UI plus two, and must contain neighbors UI plus four. The, here is the company showed the, uh, the path between the second neighbor of U zero and the second neighbor of U three. Uh, uh, oh, what happens? And uh, this is true for each I, so we can deduce a uh, condition by finding uh, 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 an old hole of length at least uh, seven, and thus uh, prove the lemma. Now, uh, suppose the theorem two is not true, then we can choose G to be a minimal kind of example, then G has five hole uh, and uh, G has G must be three connected and every three cards of G is stable. And but this uh, contradicts the conclusion of uh, lemma two that uh, says that G must contain a uh, three cut set uh, such that two of what sets are the descent. This is uh, our proof. Uh, our proof of theorem three is uh, quite similar to the proof theorem. Uh, two, but a uh, little complicated with uh, much more uh, structural uh, analysis. Uh, we also prove a uh, stru structural lemma uh, for uh, theorem three. Uh, suppose that G2 has a, a three connected graph uh, uh, that has no unstable zero card set, and it is not a Clisson graph. It's three connected, and uh, uh, every uh, three cut set is stable, uh, and uh, it's not the tenth bar. Then we can show that G is C plus three. The proof uh, uh, was uh, is uh, divided into uh, a few parts. First, we show that G does not induce the tenth bar. Here is the the the, the show the uh, process. Uh, if T induce a piston graph P, uh, with, uh, it's, uh, one can uh, check easily that every vertex uh, outside P has at most the neighboring P, and then one can find uh, for here, for example, uh, in, in induced paths uh, connecting U1 and U4 that has no other neighbor, but has no other neighbor in the piston graph. And then we can find uh, either uh, the paths together with the U1, U2, U3, U4, or uh, U1, V1, uh, V3, U4 uh, is an odd hole of length at this seven. Uh, so then we show that uh, G does not induce the P minus, the Pearson graph minus the vertex. Because we have shown that G cannot induce uh, 
the pitot graph. Now we can uh, uh, we see that every vertex, if G has a P minus, then every vertex outside P minus has at most uh, one neighbor in P, the same as uh, uh, we are just use the same property as that we use. Uh, now we can, uh, we see that G cannot the uh, same as P uh, minus because C is three connected. Uh, and then we can find uh, an old hole of length at phase seven. So uh, we can uh, now uh, suppose that G induce a set class. Then it must induce one of the following three compositions. One is the seed class uh, plus uh, uh, passive length three connecting U1 and U3. Uh, the second, uh, uh, the uh, seed class uh, add two passive length three, one connecting U1 and U3 and the other connecting U5 and U7. And the third is uh, seed class also uh, adding add two paths blend three, uh, but this uh, two paths one uh, connecting U one and U three and the other connecting U three and U five, uh, and then uh, uh, we uh, discuss the three uh, structures and uh, this what is that the outside structure and uh, find. Uh, some uh, all the holes for length at least seven in uh, this graph. Uh, so this the uh, our uh, uh, open question. And assuming an affirmative answer to the third question of Plummer and Nietzsche, uh, that is, you can make, if we can show that every graph in G two is recoverable, uh, if it's this. Uh, is indeed this is true. Perhaps it is true that all graphs in GL for L uh, greater than or equal to two are three are also three colorable. Uh, we have shown that all such graphs are four colorable. Maybe it is true that they, they are all three colorable. Uh, thanks uh, for your attendance and uh, welcome to Nanjing. Thanks, Bao Gang, for nice, presenting a nice talk. Are there any questions? Uh, I, I guess you can uh, unmute yourself uh, if you want to ask questions. Or you can type on the type in the chat box. Mm -hmm. mm, I have a comment, uh, Bao Gang. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a one uh, recent visit of Alex um, Scott and Paul Simo maybe was mentioning that if the graph does for some P and Q, for any P and Q, if the graph does not have an induced cycle with length uh, mod Q equal to P, then the committee number is bounded. Uh, do you know that paper on archive? Oh, I, I, I see. I, I know this, uh, this uh, uh, conductor. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, because I have a uh, final time, so I can't, uh, cannot mention too many questions. Uh, yeah. yeah, I just um, see, I want to Very nice uh, uh, yeah. conductor. There are a lot of nice results on these topics, yeah. Okay, uh, if no more questions, uh, you can feel free to unmute yourself and then let's send the speaker again. Okay, I can.